guys, Chanel, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about how I lost my virginity. This little story time is good. So I want you to go grab your popcorn, your chips, your candy, your drinks, all of that. So I can let y'all guys know. Because it's going to be an interesting story, so... We're gonna be here for a little minute. Not that long, but it's gonna be a little minute. So I like this story not too explicit. Like I'm gonna cut a few little things out, you know? Cause I don't want y'all to know like everything. I don't wanna get too deep in the sauce, you feel me? Okay, but no, for real. Okay, so this story basically, I'm just gonna say how, you know, okay, so um I'm 14, I was 14 at the time. Right now I am 18, I'm 18 right now. So I know y'all like, that's kind of young. Wait, no, 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 I wasn't 14, I was 15. I was in ninth grade. And I was just a little, just a little, you know, a little too grown, you know, just, just a little bit, well, a lot. So um, I was talking to this boy or whatever, and we're gonna call him Tutu. Mm hmm Tutu. We're gonna call him Tutu. So I was talking to Tutu or whatever for a little minute because I always hung around older people. So when you hang around older people, you're gonna attract older people. And I wasn't no ugly little girl. My hair used to be done. It's not done right now, but my hair used to be done, but I used to know what to do with my hair. Like they never used to be in cute little buns and shit. They used to be just a hot mess, y'all. Like really a hot mess. So I was talking to Tutu for a little minute on Snapchat or whatever, and he gave me his number. So we used to text here and there, you know, what are you doing? You know, nothing, 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 nothing. So it's spring break. Spring break comes around the corner. That's when everybody be at work, everybody at work. Nobody would be over here. So, hmm, I hit up Tutu. It's early in the morning. I hit up Tutu. I hit Tutu up. And I was just like, um, somebody's over here, you wanna come over? He's like, yeah, you know, yeah, I can come. I can come, you know, I was just like, okay. So where he's from, it's like a 30, 30 minutes, 20 minutes away from me. So that's where he lived at. So he came all the way down there. So boom, I was a little paranoid little girl. I did not want anybody to see Tutu in my yard. They would tell my dad. They would tell my dad that they seen Tutu car in my yard or they'll tell somebody because around where I live, I have family that lives around me. So I did not want to get in trouble, y'all. Like, I just couldn't. So Tutu goes and park by my mailbox. And so Tutu goes park by my mailbox or whatever. And he has his emergency lights on or whatever. So I'm just like, I hope nobody gets suspicious because around my neighborhood, they get suspicious. Even if you walk, they get suspicious. Like, who is that walking on our road? Like, who is they? They see a strange car. Why does this strange car keep coming? Like, that's how they is down here. Like, I don't, girl, I don't know. So, Tutu coming to the house, whatever. And I'm shy. And I'm, I'm shy and stuff. Like, okay, hey, how you doing? Like, I'm shy. Like, I just don't know what what's about to happen like i don't know so he's older than me or whatever well duh. he's older than me so he was more experienced than me like only thing i ever did was kiss a boy on the lips that's all i ever did so he was more experienced and y'all if y'all hear a tv or something something loud it's because there's tv playing in the background i'm so sorry so yeah so what happened yeah we ended up going on the couch or whatever he's sitting on the couch or whatever i'm gonna insert a little clip of him leaving but I'm like kind of like cross out his face. I don't know if I should do that or not, but I'm just gonna, you know, a little sneak peek. Okay, so he left or whatever. Not left, but went to the car to get something. So I told him to run to the house. Like, don't let nobody see, don't let nobody see. So he runs back into the house or whatever. So as soon as he comes in the house, he's like, so where your room at? I said, huh? He said, your room? I said, oh, it's, it's, it's back there. So he was just like, okay, come on. And I'm just like. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? What do you mean, come on? But guess what I did? I went right back there. You know, 
not knowing what was gonna happen. Like, I promise y'all, I did not know what was gonna happen. So then we just sat on my bed or whatever. So he said, you ever had sex? And I said, nigga, what? No, 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 no. I was like, no. He was like, well, do you want to? And I was just like, I mean, we can, we can, we can try it. We can, we can, we can try, but you know, so he was just like, okay. So that's when he goes to take off his pants. Mind you, I have a big t-shirt on and some shorts on. So he goes to take off his pants and I'm just like, oh my God, is this really about to happen? So he takes off his pants or whatever. So he like tells me to lay down. I lay down. I'm like, oh Lord, be with me. So y'all, he takes off my little shorts, guys. He takes off my little toe underwear. And I was just like nervous, shaking. He's just like, calm down. You know, I got you. You know, everything's gonna be okay. And I'm just like, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna see. So he um goes to put it in. Y'all. That was not it, y'all. I screamed. It's like this is my little, my little, my little hole. This is. Hold up. This is his. Y'all know. It would not go in for nothing. So it was hurting. I was just like, you know what? Just, just, just stop. Just stop. And he's just like what's wrong i was like this hurts too bad this is hurting i cannot do this like i can't even attempt to keep doing it he was like you're a virgin it's, it's gonna hurt sweetie it's gonna hurt you know he just kept saying sweetheart i just said sweetie just to you know sum it up but he was like it's gonna hurt you know like and when i said sweetheart he was not he ain't no old man or nothing y'all because i'm not telling y'all his age but he was in the teens because I was 14, 15, he was in the teens, so yeah. So, don't think I was messing around with no 20 year old or something, because y'all not gonna do that to me. So yeah, he was just like, you wanna try it again? You wanna try it again? So I was just like, no, you know. He was like, okay. So he was just like, um, how did it feel? And I was like, how did it feel? He was like, yeah, how did it feel? And I was like, it hurt it. What do, you, what do you mean how did it feel it hurt it like and he was just like oh okay so he was just like you want to just watch some tv or something so i was like yeah we can just watch some tv so we go in my room or whatever i mean not my room we go into the living room or whatever y'all i turn on the tv i get a call the house phone ringing so i'm just like it's my dad he's like it's your dad i was like yeah it's my dad he was like i gotta go i was like hold on hold on don't open the door yet because when you open the door the door makes a little noise like ding 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 like that's how it is so i was just like hello and he was just like um who over there and i was just like ain't nobody over here and he was like i'm gonna ask you again who over there so i was just like nobody's over here and he was like okay i was just making sure because there's a gray car parked by the mailbox with the emergency lights on i'm like what looking at him what there's a great car like doing my head like and so before he opened the door whatever i told him to wait so i was just like no i don't know who that is dad like i don't know who that is my dad was at work and he was like okay you know all right so my dad hung up and i was like you gotta go so he's left or whatever and he texted me and he wanted to come again the next day and i'm just like come again mm -mm. No, no 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 so that's when he was just like um you know where i'm gonna be and stuff so i'm gonna be home but he did not come again y'all i actually stopped talking to toot toot i stopped talking to him for a little minute i'm not want to do i don't want to do two stories in one but Toot Toot came with a lot of drama, a lot of drama. Moral of the story is he was messing with two girls from down here, which was me and another girl. And that is another story for another time. 
So yeah, Tutu is basically a little player. And we don't mess with boys like Tutu. Tutu, till this day, still keeps in contact with me. Till this day, like literally, Tutu will still try to keep in contact with me. So Tutu just be all over the place. So guys, um, my experience, I will say it was horrible. It was not romantic. I don't know who ever told y'all, like, oh, yeah, it's gonna be romantic. Like, candles is everywhere and there's flower petals and everywhere. No, that's not how I had it. I don't know about other people because other people probably had it a different way than I had it. But no, it was, it, no, I, it was not a good experience for me. It hurt it. Not as bad as people say it hurt, like a needle going. No, it didn't hurt that bad, y'all. But it did hurt. And I just did not want to proceed. You know, other girls would proceed with it. And I was just like, no, I don't even know what I'm doing with my damn self. So it was like, mm -mm, you know. So, yes, that is it for this story time. I really don't know what else to talk about. Unless y'all give me some more story times to say or do. You know, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more epic videos. And yeah thank you guys for watching i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm out